Hello, the thing I'm currently writing on right now is called a light board. Light board is a transparent whiteboard made of glass with internal lighting to make writing glow. Light board allows for face-to-face -face presentation with the presenter and the content shared on the glass becomes a focal point. To build a light board, first we need to have an acrylic plexiglass sheet. Next, we need some light so we are using an LED light strip. To keep the glass standing, we are using 4 shelf bracket and 2 small G clamp. First thing I'm going to do is tape my LED light strip right onto the middle of the table. Next, I will place and line up my plexiglass right over the LED light strip. After that, I will use two of the shelf bracket and place them facing each other with the plexiglass in between. Then it will be tightened using the G clamp. This will be done with both side of the plexiglass. I will be using neon marker to write on the glass board. Another thing is, I will be using a black cloth to cover up the background then hang it up to the wall. Lastly, the lighting tool needed to light up the presenter face. This is how the final product looks like. The light of the light strips illuminated the board from beneath making the marker text bright. To connect the camera to the computer, either use third-party apps such as Droidcam for smartphone or EOS Utility for digital camera via USB. By using our teleconferencing website called SDM Glass Classroom, presenter can embed their light board technology. Our website allow users to create their own teleconferencing meeting. Users can record their meeting and upload their recorded video to Firebase Cloud Storage. First, click open camera and microphone to enable the, the other function of the website. Even if the text on the light board is backward, our SDM Glass Classroom website will automatically flip the camera image. Secondly, click create room, then the website will generate the current room code. Give the room code to the other person that you wanted to contact. Then, the other users can click join room and paste in the code that have been given to them. However, if you try to join a room that does not exist, the website will alert you. If you want to record the meeting, click on Start Recording then choose the screen that you want to record. Once you are done with the meeting, you can click Stop Recording button to stop the recording and users will be prompted to input their video name. It will then be downloaded and saved to the local download folder. If the users want to share their video to other users, click on Browse File button. Next, choose the video file that you want to share. After that, click Upload to Firebase then the video will be uploaded to the user's Firebase account cloud storage. User can click in Session button to end their room video call. The video that have been uploaded can be retrieved from Firebase Storage.
ne hiwa.